What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time with us, my name is Brandon. This is my beautiful girlfriend, Andrea. And that's our German Shepherd, Zeus, the luckiest dog on earth. We travel around the country full time in this 1988 Scamp travel trailer that we customized for off-grid living. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys what we're towing this Scamp with. And that would be the 1999 Lincoln Town Car, which has been very interesting, but she's been really good to us so far. As of about 20 days from now will be our one year on the road full time. And this car has gotten us from South Florida all the way to the Pacific Northwest and back. And pretty much everywhere in between. Surprisingly enough, this thing handles some grades pretty well. We took it into Rocky Mountain National Park and just general grades all over the Rocky Mountains going through Colorado and Wyoming. And I've been pretty impressed with how this thing handles. Engine inside of the town car is a 4.6 V8 and it is part of the Ford Panther platform, which was also found in like the Mercury Grand Marquis and the Ford Crown Vic. And that was a huge deciding factor in why I bought this car in the first place. I knew that these engines were workhorses and I found this car for 1500 bucks in South Florida. I bought it off of an older man who was a fisherman and used it just to get his gear back and forth from the boat. So I got a hell of a deal on it and I can't complain with what it's done for me. When I first purchased the town car off that older gentleman, it only had 87,000 miles on it. And for $1,500, that was an absolute steal. And I think now after traveling the country, it still only has 112,000 miles on it, right about there. And it's still a baby. So to this point, it's only really had minimal issues. Now, technically the Lincoln town car has a tow capacity of 2,500 pounds. And the scamp is weighing in right about 3,000. <laughs> But back in 1999, when the Lincoln Town Car was first made, it actually had a rating of 5,000 pounds. So I knew I had a little bit of wiggle room. I didn't know quite how much, but we pretty much just took the leap of faith. And over the past year, it's proven itself. Another kind of surprising thing about the Lincoln Town Car is that on the highway, I get about 16 to 17 miles per gallon. And a lot of truck owners tell me that that's right about what they're getting as well. So even though the Lincoln Town Car has all these great things about it, and it's been so good to us, we do plan on upgrading to a truck here shortly, uh, just because of the fact that we don't have 4x4. And we boondock everywhere around the country full time, so we need 4x4 to get on some of these less maintained roads. Excuse me, I'm falling down this hill over here. <laughs> I want to show you this lake though. This is Lake Santitla in North Carolina in the Smoky Mountains, and being able to wake up to something like this every morning is just, I mean, it's a lifestyle that I wouldn't really trade for anything right now. So we do plan on upgrading to a truck in the near future, but we did start this journey fresh out of college. And like most kids in their early 20s, we're still building our finances. So we just figured we would build our finances remotely while we travel, that way we could build a lifestyle of kind of the ultimate freedom. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And if you'd like to be a part of the journey and help us on our travels along the way, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below, which I want to give another shout out to my current Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason that I can live this amazing lifestyle and I can never thank you enough. So thank you again. Uh, click subscribe on the channel if you haven't already guys and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and take it easy.